Welcome to the channel of NZ Justice 111. This is episode 2 in the new series called The Names of Who Corrupt New Zealand and What They Don't Want You to Know. We ended episode 1 with two despicable liars, Barrister Christopher Lynch and Barrister Warren Simpson, discovering the prenup that protected Lisa and her family trust from a property relationship claim by Christopher Lynch's other client, Senior Sergeant, was missing. You will now see just how these three cunning criminals, Lynch, Lisa's professional trustee, Simpson, Lisa's former barrister who had acted for her regarding the prenup, and Senior Sergeant, Lisa's partner and father of her baby girl, kept the fact that the prenup was missing from Lisa and her mother, Rose. Without further delay, here we go. On the 3rd of September 2004, behind Lisa and her mother's back, Christopher Lynch, Lisa's professional trustee, contacted Barrister Warren Simpson, who had acted for Lisa regarding the prenup, asking him if he had a copy of it. Barrister Simpson ignored him. NZ Justice 111 will show you the proof shortly of this communication taking place. While Christopher Lynch was secretly writing to Warren Simpson, Lisa was waiting for her former Barrister Simpson to give her a copy of the prenup, and she too was being ignored. Getting tired of waiting, Lisa phoned Inder Lynch Law Firm on the 9th of September 2004 to speak to her professional trustee, Christopher Lynch, to see if he would give her a copy of the prenup. To prove Inder Lynch Law Firm was phoned by Lisa on the 9th of September 2004, here is a copy of one of her telecom statements which records Inder Lynch Law Firm's phone number and the date the call was made. When Lisa asked Christopher Lynch for a copy of the prenup, he cunningly gave her the excuse that as he had acted for Senior Sergeant regarding the prenup, he was unable to give her a copy of it without his permission. As Lisa and Senior Sergeant were separated at the time, Lisa knew Senior Sergeant would never say yes. Lisa had no idea that her professional trustee was keeping a despicable secret from her that he already knew he could not give her a copy of this agreement because it was missing, and that he had already written to Warren Simpson searching for the prenup a week before Lisa phoned him. On the 16th of September 2004, Christopher Lynch wrote again to Barrister Simpson asking if he had a copy of Senior Sergeant's prenup. As proof of this, here is a copy of Barrister Lynch's correspondence to Barrister Simpson asking about the prenup. In this fax, the legal term for the prenup is used, that being a contracting out agreement. This fax also confirms Christopher Lynch's prior correspondence to Simpson on the 3rd of September 2004. This undeniably proves that when Lisa phoned Christopher Lynch on the 9th of September, he already knew the prenup that protected her trust from his other client, Senior Sergeant, was missing. As further undeniable proof against this corrupt barrister, Christopher Lynch, here is a screenshot of his written admission to the New Zealand Law Society that if Lisa had asked him for a copy of the prenup, he would have had to have sought permission from Senior Sergeant first. Notice Christopher Lynch has used the words, had she asked, for a copy, with this dishonest individual keeping deceitfully quiet that she did ask him, on the 9th of September 2004. While Christopher Lynch was secretly communicating with Warren Simpson, Warren Simpson contacted Lisa and told her to come into his office and pick up a copy of the prenup. When Lisa arrived at Simpson's office, she was only handed a half-signed copy by Warren Simpson's wife and secretary, Christine. Here is a screenshot of the signature page of the actual half-signed prenup Lisa was given. Lisa and her barrister Warren Simpson's signatures are not on the page, only senior sergeants and Christopher Lynch's. The excuse Warren Simpson's wife gave to Lisa as to the reason why she was only being given a half-signed copy was that the fully signed prenup was held on one of Lisa's many files and it would take far too long to find it. This excuse was followed by another, which was the half-signed copy had the same wording as the fully signed prenup so the half-signed copy was sufficient. Never accept these excuses from a law firm. They are legally obligated to keep all important documents, such as prenups and wills, in a deeds safe, which is fireproof should a legal office have an event of fire. 
after Lisa was sent away from Warren Simpson's office with a half-signed copy of the prenup, Simpson and his wife, on the 21st of September 2004, wrote to Christopher Lynch and despicably falsely claimed that Lisa had admitted to having Senior Sergeant's original copy of the prenup and that she had advised that she would be giving it to him that day. As proof of this despicable, dishonest act done against Lisa, here is a screenshot of the 21st of September letter that was sent by Warren Simpson to Christopher Lynch. The letter records the legal term for the prenup, that is, contracting out agreement. Lisa's professional trustee, Lynch, informed his other client, Senior Sergeant, what Lisa had been accused of, with both men keeping despicably quiet to Lisa and her mother about Warren Simpson's letter. In early October of 2004, Senior Sergeant managed to persuade Lisa to take him back, and he began yet again to live in Lisa's trust property. Lisa and her mother were completely unaware what corrupt Christopher Lynch, Senior Sergeant, and corrupt Warren Simpson were hiding from them. That being, the fully signed prenup had gone missing, which meant Lisa and her family trust were setting ducks for Senior Sergeant to claim half of everything Lisa and her family trust owned under a property relationship claim. Look out for episode 3, where NC Justice 111 will be showing you even more evidence of the utter corruption involved in this case, which has seen Lisa, her mother, and Lisa's children become the innocent victims of this heinous financial crime committed against this family. If you have enjoyed this video, please click on the like button, make a comment, or simply subscribe to this channel. Until next time, keep safe.